Hello, I'm Greg. I'm uh, going to do a walk around on my 2006 Country Coach for you. I'm going to let you look at the outfit sitting right there. It's a uh, Country Coach Inspire Sienna 360. It's 36 feet long. It's got four slides. It's got a 400 horsepower Caterpillar engine. Uh, it's got about 1,300 foot-pounds of torque, so this is one of those ones that uh, you don't have a lot of problems pulling anything. It'll pull 10,000 pounds like it's not even back there. I'm going to go over some of the things on the RV, some of the highlights. Country Coach is one of your Highline RVs. Uh, it's above a lot of the rest in its uh, custom quality and the features it has. Uh, so I'm going to start right up front here. The big one-piece windshield is a nice piece to have. It's desired in most RVs and they didn't have a lot of those in 2006. If you notice right here I got my finger on a piece of uh, film and that's the clear bra on the front of the RV to help keep the bugs and everything from uh, chipping your paint and little rock chips. Uh, the mirrors on it are heated. Uh, if you notice right above the awning above the door there's a little impeller up there. What that's for is that is a wind impeller and it, when it starts to spin too fast it'll bring this big awning right here in so the wind doesn't catch it and damage it. These are all uh, carefree awnings out of Colorado and once again you'll see right there that it's a Country Coach 360. The front tires are Toyos and they're brand new. I just put them on about a month ago. It has a lighted handle for your front door. Uh, this coach goes down the road doesn't uh, make a lot of noise. You don't hear wind noise. Uh, so you notice on the uh, slide out there the windows they're tinted and so you get the privacy also you get the sun shading from the uh, solar rays it has storage compartments all the way around I'll just pop some of these open for you so there's a big storage compartment under there Ugh. pass through tray goes all the way through and slides either direction in or out under that door right there is a 100 pound propane tank. There's your refrigerator. It uh, is actually a dual source refrigerator, so it runs off of propane or electric. You have a propane furnace there and a propane furnace there. Uh, Alcoa wheels, as you can see, these tires are in great condition. There's no weather checking. Under here is a uh, 8D battery for starting the chassis. And then in this compartment right here, there is a place for oil or storage. Uh, right up over here, you'll notice there's some breakers and an on-off switch. Everything's wired, easy to get to, so if you need to change anything or repair anything, it's all right there. The uh, awning on the top, the toppers on the slides, they're all new, been replaced. You got a rock guard down below, it's hinged, heavy. There's a blue ox tow bar that comes with it. I have a drop down hitch and also the brake that goes with it for your tag vehicle. Uh, color backup camera. And once again, there's that uh, engine compartment for the big 400 Caterpillar. Side radiator. Everybody wants the side radiator because it's a uh, more efficient system, doesn't overheat. A lot of the rear radiators build up with oil and then they get hot. There's a storage compartment right here. Right under here is your sewer and water, all your fresh water. It's got an outdoor shower. Everything's easy to read, easy to get to. You can see the level of your water tank down there. It's got an outdoor shower and a light. So you can see the paint on this thing is really nice and clean. It's uh, got good colors. Um, we're gonna go right here and pop this bay open. That one there is where the inverter and the batteries are so we have a uh, freedom 458 Zantrax inverter uh, I think it's a 2000 watt it also has a sine wave power source so the power comes out of here turns it into a true sine wave so you don't have problems with electronics there's a uh, big compressor right there for your hydraulic fluid to run your jacks four batteries they're about two years old all the wiring on these country coaches is real easy to uh, get to it's designed well you got a power 50 amp not a power but it's manual but a 50 amp 
reel, you've got a surge guard right there, and then there's where your power transfer switch is. Easy to get to, um, not hidden underneath cabinets or door, drawers inside the RV. The driver has a sliding window right there. Uh, now that's your generator running right there. That's an 8,000 watt um, Onan generator. Pretty quiet. But uh, what I was saying about the window here is it doesn't leak air when you're going down the road. This is really quiet going down the road. Windshield washer fluid, you got your uh, breaker box for the chassis. There's your ECM and all your wiring is color coded. You got two connectors right here. So if you need to do any diagnostics, and that's one of the uh, highlights of Country Coach, is everything is uh, designed very, very well, just to cut above the rest. We're gonna walk around and take a look at the inside of the coach. So stepping up in, that's what it looks like. If you notice right away, the uh, leather on the seating is soft and it's, uh, doesn't show any wear, no staining, no tears. Um, right as you walk in, there's some switches there for your entry step, porch light, lights, and then your house battery to fire everything up. Now when you turn on the lights, it turns on these halogens right up above. Um, and then over here, next to the uh, passenger seat, there's a step cover switch and a visor switch. So I'm gonna spin around here so the passenger can run their visor from right there. It's got power visors on it. It's a nice little uh, tray that swings around here for the driver if you want to have some snacks or something to eat. Now, the air conditioning on this RV, I got two 15,000 uh, BTU roof airs and then the dash unit air that goes right up here for to keep the coach uh, cool while you're going down the road works awesome. It's cold, ice cold, and it, um, it'll keep the front of this coach nice and cool. You don't need to run your generator and your your house air when you're going down the road in this coach. One of the things you'll notice on the passenger seat here, it has uh, a power leg left there so you can relax. Um, it's a power seat, it, uh, it's a slider, and it also spins. Now if you come over here, I'm gonna sit down in this passenger seat, and here's the step cover. It just slides right out, slides right back in. Got a fire extinguisher built in, and there's what the driver's side looks like, the dash. It's nice and clean. If you notice that the driver's seat, no rips, no tears, no stains. It's nice and soft. Um, right down here, I'm going to spin the phone up here, and you'll see there's your, there's your exhaust brake down below. And uh, right here is your transmission, Allison transmission. It's got the economy mode. So you got two visors here. I'm going to flip this up. You got the power visor for the driver, the power visor for the passenger. Uh, right here is your uh, power pedals, curb lights. And then this one right here is actually air dump. So if you want to dump the air out of the airbags, it'll lower the RV down. One thing I'll tell you about this RV is it doesn't have any air leaks in the, in the hydro or the air system for the uh, ride of the RV. Uh, or for the leveling, it uh, stays true. I can let this thing sit for two months and it'll still hold 125 pounds of air. Some of the older RVs, their airbags get bad and they get leaks in them and they drop. This one does not do that at all. Here's a battery boost. So if you need to start your coach from your house batteries, uh, there's an engine brake. And then of course, if you look up here, we got fans. And then there's a little light right here for the driver to flip on and off. Uh, right there is your auto leveling. You reach over here, you touch this, it lights up. You hit auto and it'll automatically level the coach. No fuss, no muss. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go over here to the dash and there's the um, mileage on the coach, currently 66, 541. There's the dash from behind. Uh, and then if we go down here to the steering column, we'll notice right back here that it has tilt and telescope steering. And again, it has the power pedals. All your uh, cruise control is right here. It's got the smart wheel. You see it says that. I'd... Anyway, this is uh, if you want to flash people with the lights, blip, blip, if they got their brights on. Here's one here that's all your wiper. It's all built right into the steering column. Uh, it's really handy, nice. Got your outside temperature and the direction that you're headed. Once again, here's your air conditioning and heat system. Uh, like I said, that is ice cold AC coming out of the dash of this RV. There's a JVC stereo with a USB port. 
your backup camera and it is color. I have a Magellan navigation system right here. Uh, very nice to have uh, if you get lost and you don't have cell service. So I'm gonna move up here. You got a 36 inch, I believe, uh, colored TV set. I don't have it on for you to see, but then it has cabinets all the way around the front of the RV. And in here, you'll see right here, it has a wind guard satellite uh, antenna up there. It's a traveler deal. It's a pretty fancy antenna. I've never used it. Here's your auto retract on your awning. Um, so there's your awning for the door. And then these are antennas and amplifier. I've never used any of that stuff. Um, Anyway, I'll just pop this open here. This is part of that system too. It has your antennas and it has a, a five disc CD changer. It is a Panasonic system. Now this RV has, on every window, it has these um, shades that are either day shade or night shade. So you can slide them up or down and they all work good. There's no broken cords on them. And uh, so if I step back a little bit, there's the, there's the front of the RV, super clean. The thing runs like a top, doesn't have any issues. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna look at the inside of the RV on the back. So right there is the, it's big in here. It's got uh, four full slides. Uh, you got a leather sofa here. You got a, a table there and then a uh, cabinet back there or coffee or whatever you want to use it for. There's a desk over here. Cabinets up above. You got your microwave oven, three burner propane stove. You've got a stainless steel sink. Once again, there's two furnaces in this RV. One of them comes up here and runs out here. The other one is in the back. Uh, there's a Norcold four door refrigerator. Uh, works very well off of electric and propane. It's got the ice maker in it. If you notice, these shelves and everything in here are really clean. There's no rust. Uh, it's well maintained. I'm the second owner of this coach, so it's been stored indoors most of its life. I'm going to spin over here and I'm going to show you the control panels. So here's your uh, tank indicators. There's your fresh water tank. It's empty. Gray water tank, empty. Black water, empty. There's some LPG, that's great. So right now we're running the generator, you heard that up front. You're running 34 amps. Um, shows you right there you're on the gen set or if you're on shore to be 50, 30 or 20 amp. All of your systems are running, the lights are on. This right here is gas for your hot water heater, 10 gallons, or electric for your hot water heater. And then there's your AC, uh, zone one and two. You come down here, right now you're looking at the generator uh, the Xantrax inverter um, and that's powering up the house right now so down here you've got fantastic fan on the ceiling there's one in the bathroom also uh, you got lights oops let's get that focused in a little bit better lights the generator starts right here slide 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 everything's easy to access and everything works great. One of the things about Country Coach, you don't have to go looking for breakers or fuses. It has a breaker panel built in right there. So, nice design of a coach. I'm gonna spin around here and I'll just show you what it looks like from the other side. It's got lots of space, it's luxurious, easy to get along with. If you notice, it's got ducted AC units all the way down through the roof, so both ACs. And then you got speakers all the way down through the front to the rear and uh, halogen lighting. We're gonna walk into this little hallway right here and I'm gonna show you the shower. It's a full piece uh, fiberglass shower, it's big. You can see it's got a seat in it. So it's not one of them dinky little RV showers. This is comfortable to take a shower in. It's got a little light in there. I'm six foot. It's got a, a dome right there with skylights so a tall person that's six six could fit in here quite easily go in here it's got a toilet of course and then you got your sink lights fantastic fan this is all tiled through here so it's a porcelain tile it goes all the way through the kitchen and then it's carpeted in the living area once again it's carpeted in here too you got a queen-size bed 
little place to hang some clothes and it's got a sink right here with a vanity there's a place for a TV but unfortunately guys there's not one there it's got uh, drawers down below up above you got some counter space and down below there is a splendid 2000 s washer dryer combo I'm gonna slide open this closet door right here and you'll see there's a nice closet in here so I'm gonna spin around here and let you kind of look at this again and just kind of get an idea of uh, the size in here there's lots of space in this RV for only being a 36 footer there's pocket doors right here that slide so if you want to close off your bedroom from the rest of it or if you want to come over here and close off your your bathroom and bedroom from the rest of it there's another pocket door right there so there's a lot of privacy in here these lock with a pin um, so when you're going down the road they're not sliding around but if you notice the woodwork and everything in here is is uh, really nice and clean meticulous it doesn't have scratches or dings um, so any questions uh, feel free to give me a holler